Time for tonight's reality check. In news so strange, it must be true, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has been elected to a four-year term on the United Nations Commission on, wait for it now, the status of women. Not the UN Commission on Oil or Sand or Medieval Legal Systems, but the Commission on the Status of Women, which exists to promote gender equality around the world. Now, admittedly, both Egypt and Iran are already members of that commission, so obviously someone at the UN has a sense of irony. But the Saudis? Even as a joke, that one falls flat. Now, keep in mind that Saudi Arabia is a country in which every adult woman must have a male guardian, and that guardian's permission is required for females to travel, receive higher education, get married, even undergo surgery. Every woman must wear a hijab out in public, and in some parts of the country, women must cover everything but their eyes. Women are not allowed to drive cars. Their testimony in court is worth half of a man's testimony. They can even be forcibly married off as children if their fathers request it. So let's see, the country that is a matter of official policy, treats women as less than human, will now be lecturing the rest of us about feminism. So if you had to sum up the United Nations in a single perverse sentence, that would be it.